Hi, and welcome to this course on quality management systems. I'd like to uh, introduce the, the topic first and talk a little bit about what quality is uh, before we start in on what the management systems are. Now, in, uh, in this course, quality is fitness for purpose. It's not, um, as a lot of people imagine, uh, something um, high class, uh, very expensive. That's not intended to be. Uh, something can, um, can be quite uh, well fitted for its purpose without being particularly expensive. Now all products, all goods, all products have qualities of some form. And we're talking about, um, I suppose another uh, word for it is characteristics or attributes. But we use the term uh, quality um, simply because I guess it's, it's been used for some considerable time. Now, uh, something like a spear, for example, you want it, you want it to uh, be able to penetrate whatever it is you're aiming at and to, um, to uh, immobilize the, um, the thing. Uh, I think that one's a fishing spear, so you want it to immobilize the fishing spear so you can go and get it. Uh, boots, they, those happen to be hiking boots. Uh, I wouldn't want to walk on a building site with them. But on the other hand, I wouldn't want to walk up uh, a mountain in safety boots. They're, they're two different things, so they're, they're fitted for different purposes. A jacket, you want that to be uh, warm, um, suited to the weather in which you want to uh, wear it. Um, now that particular jacket you probably wouldn't wear on a fishing boat, but you also probably, again, wouldn't climb mountains as a fishing jacket. And uh, you can see all, almost any product has qualities that are relevant to its its purpose and you want those uh, qualities to ensure that the thing can be used for its intended purpose. Now something disposable, like disposable gloves or a, a hazmat suit or something like that, um, you don't necessarily want that to be durable. But some other desirable qualities you might want in that would be that it is easily um, decomposable. Uh, you don't want um, to introduce uh, things like styrofoam cups and you know, to just block up all the waterways. Um, so there are different qualities that are suited to different products of different circumstances. Now another example is uh, buildings. Now those uh, two buildings happen to be in Fiji, but they illustrate uh, what qualities are desired in some buildings in some circumstances. In this case, the qualities desirable qualities are they should be cheap to produce, easy to construct. That is, the people don't have a lot of money and they want to be able to build them with materials that are readily available and not very expensive. They want to be able to put it up without a lot of specialized labor. They want to do it themselves, um, themselves and their brother or uh, themselves and some of their family just to put the thing up. The other effect of its uh, cheapness is that if and when you get a cyclone come along and, and uh, damage them, then they're easy to repair. The, these are the desirable qualities for, for some of the houses in, in uh, Fiji, and you can see that in other different parts of the world. Uh, now, one of the things about quality is that it's very hard to add quality in at the end. Uh, qualities or the desirable qualities have to be designed in and they have to be incorporated into the, the process of doing things. You can't add it like a coat of paint. Um, now as an example, um, you can be reasonably fit and healthy with just uh, watching your diet a little bit and a moderate amount of exercise. Uh, one of the expressions I use frequently is just eat better, drink less and get some exercise and you'll be reasonably healthy. However, if you want to compete in some athletic event at the national level or at the Olympic level, then you're probably going to have to do a bit more than simply eat, sleep, and you know, get exercise. You're going to have to um, incorporate a whole lot of um, exercise and that specific training into your daily routine in order to build up the skills to do it. Now, Quality management is something like that. You can, you can achieve a, a moderate amount of quality with just simple um, minor changes to the way things are done. If you want to achieve 
very specific quality in somewhat extreme circumstances, then you're probably going to have to do a little bit more. And quality management uh, does involve the entire organization. Um, we're talking about the strategic level where the organization itself has to decide what levels of quality and what types of quality it's going to go after. Uh, now examples of that uh, are that um, uh, in software development, for example, an organization might say, well, look, we, we can make a good value proposition by uh, responding quickly to the market, uh, developing something, getting something out there very quickly. Um, so their uh, desirable qualities in their software products are that they're very, very quick to produce. Um, now they may not have uh, superlative quality, but you know they might not might not be free of defects. But um, the their business proposition is to get out there uh, quickly. Now they that that organisation then decides how much um, how much time is going to be allowed to to uh, build a product, how many resources are going to be devoted to building the product, and. Uh, what money is going to be available to do it. Now it's pointless in any organization to try to get something perfect if the organization doesn't want perfect. Now in the case I just cited, the organization doesn't want a perfectly defect-free product. They want the product to be out there soon. I mean, if, if, you, if you really need the product to be out there in two months, there's no good going for perfection if it takes six months. You know, two months is what was required, so what can you do in two months? Not six. On the other hand, if you're building, uh, say, for example, life-critical software where defects are potentially lethal, then you probably would go for um, the, the defect-free product at the cost of time and the cost of resources. But whatever it is, it has to be what the organization wants it to be. Uh, you, you're wasting your time trying to achieve levels of quality that the organization doesn't want. Um, you won't get the resources you want, you won't get the support you want, it just uh, isn't any good. On the other hand, if the organization does not provide the resources to achieve the quality, that won't work either. The whole approach, we'll just try harder, and just don't make mistakes, that doesn't go very far. Uh, yes, we probably will be a little more careful in our work, but that only goes so far as we'll see in later lectures. So the, the, the approach, we'll just try harder, also doesn't work. Now what is quality? In software uh, products, the, the um, general measure of quality is, is measured usually in terms of defects. That is, a defect is a failure to conform to requirements, whatever that requirement was. If it didn't meet it, then it's a defect. So you can have defects in all manner of things, and you have uh, the quality management system uh, to try and, and uh, to get the products with as few defects as possible and to detect the defects. So you get the quality management that sets up the system to do it, you get quality assurance that tries to determine whether the um, products do have in fact defects at its various parts, various stages of, of development. You have quality control to try and control um, the uh, products with, with defects or the non-conforming products I think they're called. And also to control um, to control production so that you don't you don't inject defects in the thing. And, and you have uh, quality assessment and quality improvement. Uh, quality improvement is something that um, is fairly central to the modern approaches to quality management. There is an acknowledgement that you're not going to get it right first time. So the approach basically is we'll start anywhere and just get better. It doesn't take too long before you were actually pretty good. So with that introduction, uh, we'll launch next into uh, looking at an organization for quality management and uh, further topics along the series. So I look forward to seeing you in these uh, lectures to come.